Welcome top news today. It's pretty safe to say that at this point, President Donald Trump is the biggest human target when it comes to calling him out and making him look completely clueless. At this point, pretty much anything that he says or does can be immediately contradicted. And if anyone is ever looking for ammunition to fire back against Trump, look no further than his Twitter account, which is exactly what the House of Representatives minority leader did today. On February 12th, Nancy Pelosi used Donald Trump's old tweet against him and his newly proposed budget to create a burn of epic proportions. You may be asking yourself, what did Trump say this time? Technically Trump didn't actually say anything out of bounds today, at least to my knowledge. But he did send a controversial budget plan proposal to Congress on Feb. 12. Why the controversy? The plan HES proposed for the 2019 fiscal year includes massive, massive cuts to many important agencies and programs in favor of increased defense spending and, you guessed it, Trump's infamous wall. But there is one particular area where Trump's proposed budget plan hits the Pelosi DC acre and help but notice. Social welfare programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and food stamps will suffer a $1.7 trillion decrease over the next decade should this budget plan pass through Congress. But in a expert social media sleuth move, Pelosi dug up a tweet where Trump promised that he would not cut any of these programs. Trump stated back in 2015 that there will be no cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. And yet, here we are. So naturally, Pelosi decided to resurface the declaration in a oh-so-perfect burn, and said there really is a tweet for everything. Reminding Trump that the internet is written in pen, not pencil. Pelosi is honestly clearly done with Trump's ridiculousness at this point. Not only did she throw some amazing side eye at Trump's first State of the Union address on Jan. 30. She also championed deferred action for childhood arrivals DACA in a filibuster on the House of Representatives floor, speaking for eight hours straight. And evidently she can call out Trump for his blatant dismissal of his campaign promises. Quite literally, as Pelosi says, there is a Trump tweet that can contradict virtually anything he says or does. But it's not just the fact that this plan cuts programs that Trump has promised to keep while on the campaign trail that has Pelosi and many others raising their eyebrows. Despite all the cuts it makes, this proposal will actually end up adding a significant chunk of change to the federal deficit. Trump's plan for the 2019 fiscal year will cost $4.4 trillion, completely abandoning the Republican goal of balancing the budget over the next decade. In fact, this budget plan would increase the federal deficit by $7 trillion over the next 10 years. The GOP tax plan that was passed toward the end of 2017 has already added $1.5 trillion to that deficit, and I really don't think this nation's government can afford to add a single dime to that. Chips Amode Villagety Images News Getty Images As far as the likelihood of this proposed budget plan passing, it's truly a long shot. But there is still a lot to take away from this proposal the White House has released, namely that there is no telling which direction Trump will turn when it comes to fulfilling the promises that helps made both on the campaign trail and in the Oval Office. It really seems that the only promise he remains consistent on is making sure that his US-Mexico border wall will be funded one way or another. And at this point, border security seems like the least of our problems.